Hey friends, welcome back to Grand Adventure. I'm your host, Mark Guido, and in this week's episode, we're gonna be testing out the Rover Roamer Skytrack Doggy Zipline for keeping your dog restrained while in a campground. So stay tuned. So up until now, we've been using a cable tie-out to keep our dog restrained when we're in a campground. However, I, we've been really getting tired of having the dog get tangled on furniture and trees and other things around the campsite. So we decided to invest in the Rover Roamer. This is, you've seen dog runs that are like set up like a zip line where the dog attaches to an overhead cable. Those are great for a permanent installation where you can screw you know, a turnbuckle into each end of the steel cable, but that's really not handy for portability while traveling from campground to campground. And seeing as how we are probably gonna be in a few more campgrounds than usual this summer, we decided to invest in the Rover Roamer. Now, these are not cheap, and I will tell you, we did buy this ourselves. We made no contact with Rover Roamer prior to filming this video. We went ahead and bought it ourselves straight off their website, and we could not be more impressed. Worth every penny. We'll walk you through everything, showing you what they supply, how well made everything is, how we go through setup, and how Zoe likes it. So let's walk through everything that's included. We'll start off with, I gotta tell you, this is one of the best made gear bags that I've ever come across. It's got tons of interior pockets, tons of exterior attachment points. It is made with bulletproof giant oversized zippers. Um, that alone left us impressed the minute we took it out of the box. However, I'll show you what's included here in the main compartment. They come in virtually any length you want, up to 500 feet long. We decided to go with a 50 foot section because that's likely to be the most that we're gonna need uh, while we're out in a campground. Uh, but you can, you can buy any of the components separately. So if you buy a 50 foot and decide later you want 100 foot, you can get 100 feet of this climbing rope uh, and uh, change your setup pretty readily. Uh, this is actually something we bought separately from Rover Roamer. This is their bungee leash, uh, but we'll be talking a little bit more about that in a few moments. Uh, this is the one that's included, uh, the bungee leash. Uh, the, they call it a neck saver uh, that they include with the Rover Roamer Skytrack system itself. This actually goes with the bungee leash, it's a handle, but again, we're gonna talk about that in a moment. Some handy setup instruction cards that are really made on heavy grade, uh, lightweight cardboard. Um, we're gonna keep those in the main compartment. Now this bag does come with an optional shoulder strap that we haven't chosen to put on ourselves, but there it is. Uh, let's see here now. Let's get to the nitty gritty of this thing. We'll open up these two side compartments where I've stowed some of the additional items. These are the straps that go around posts, trees, uh, utility boxes, anything that you have to be able to tie off on each end. Put those over here. These are the bumpers that allow you to control the length of the dog run on the line itself. This is a, a little ratchet tightener that you can use in case one of these straps is meant to go around a tree that's a little too large for the strap, but we'll talk about that as well. Let's go over onto this side. This is the bungee absorber, which helps to take up slack and take up tension on the overhead line. This is the little wheel, I don't know what you'd call this little doohickey, but this is the thing that runs along the line once we have the zip line set up. Another carabiner and clips for each end. So let's go ahead and show you how we set this up. So these are the tree straps. Uh, they're quite generously long to go around most trees or posts or anything of that nature. And they use these really heavy duty steel buckles uh, that just simply clip in place like that. They buckle together. Uh, we've, once you select your two anchor points, then we put one of these around each of the anchor points. We're going to use the RV on one end and this large scotch pine tree for the other end. 
So now you want to set this up just above he head height. Uh, you want to get it so it's facing so that the D-ring is facing the direction that you're going to have the rope going. So we'll clip that together. Try and get rid of the twists as much as I can here, doing this as one person instead of two. And simply tighten this up around the tree. There we go. That should be pretty good because the rope will take tension on the rest of this. And there we have the D-ring facing the direction that the rope will be going. Now I want to try to kind of experiment with something. I haven't tried this yet, so I'm really not sure how it's going to work out. But I want to try actually attaching the other end of our RV ladder. So that way the zip line will go right past the trailer door. So now back over here at the tree anchor, we're going to take our line tensioner, we're going to attach one end to the D-ring with the included carabiner. And we're going to take this ratchet and put it on the other end of the line tensioner, like so. Now next, we'll take one end of the rope, pass both bumpers on the loose end of the rope. We'll take one of the ratchets, pass the line through the smooth end of the ratchet, and secure it with the teeth in the ratchet, like so. We'll take the other end of the rope, pass that through the trolley, take our carabiner, put that through the trolley, lock the teeth, take our neck safe strap, also apply that to the carabiner. Now we simply have to hang the line. We'll take uh, the end with the bumpers, put it right here on our uh, strap that's hanging from our ladder, and we'll go over to the other end and hang that from the tree. Now back over at the tree, we're going to take the other end of our line. We're going to pass it through the ratchet in the exact same manner, pass it through the smooth end. And we're going to pull tension until the line is as taut as we want it. And then we'll lock it with the teeth in the ratchet. So the final step is simply to attach your own leash to the end of the neck saver at such a length that the leash does definitely reach the ground, but just by a little bit. And then the dog will simply move along the zip line to his heart, to his or her heart's content. Speaking of her, let's go get Zoe and see how she likes this. Good girl. Come here, babes. Atta girl. What do you think? You like it? I think we have a winner. I know. She's not used to the collar. <laughs> Usually when she's in the house, she doesn't have a collar on. What do you think, girl? Oh yeah, I know you want to go camping, right? What do you think? You like this? Let's check it out. Come here. Good girl. Good no. Off. Good girl. So we definitely found ourselves a winner for RV camping in campgrounds with our dog this summer. If you'd like to know more about the Rover Roamer, we'll put a link down in the video description to their webpage. So that way you can check out and see if this is the right solution for you. All told, all these components, all these pieces cost about $120. And I'll tell you, you'd be hard-pressed to assemble the components yourself for that amount of money. Again, 
The link is in the video description down below. We have no relationship with Rover Roamer. We just wanted to share what we think is a fabulous product. Now, if you like this episode, please be sure to give us a big thumbs up down below. Also down below, you'll find the comment section where we always love to hear from you after each episode. Now, if you're not yet a Grand Adventurer, we put out new outdoor adventure travel videos each and every Wednesday. So we would be thrilled if you went down there right now and smashed that little red subscribe button and ring that notification bell. We'd also be honored if you shared Grand Adventure with your friends, family, and on social media. So until next week, please remember, life is nothing but a grand adventure. We'll see you soon.